Hey guys, Carolina Rippers back with another video for you. So we've got some more Prism. We've already done um, some Megas. We've already done some Blasters. And now it's time to do some Value Packs. What do you think, Cole? I'm alright with that. Are you excited or just you're alright with it? I'm filled with intent. You're filled with intent? I think so. Uh, or content. I don't remember. <laughs> filled with intent mean you means you you're going to do something. You intend to do something. Content. I intend to look forward to seeing what's in these bags. Wow. Okay, that's a nice <laughs> attempt at a save. That was horrible. So uh, it appears that that uh, Panini last year they got away from the mega boxes for a while, uh, as everyone knows. And then this year, uh, kind of at the end of the year and end of this year, they brought the mega boxes back. But the other thing they kind of changed was they've gotten away from uh, the multi-pack slash value pack slash fat pack. They had a multi-pack and they had a hanger. And they seem like they've gotten rid of the hanger and just kind of combined those two now into these value packs. They're more like the multi-packs where you get 15 total cards, you're going to get some parallels. But they seem to be a little bit better than the previous multi-packs in terms of what all you get. So I, I, I feel like it's a little bit of a combination of the two. Um, and I'm okay with that, to be honest, because I felt like I felt like four configurations is just a little too much. Yeah, I got confused. Yeah, so these are, these are some of my favorite parallels, though, for Prism, is the red, white, and blue parallels that you get in here. I, those are just so clean. I really love them. The, the blaster boxes, you get the discos and the lasers. Um, mega boxes, you get green pulsars or pink. But these, when it comes to Prism, this is my favorite parallel. I don't know. What's your favorite one, Cole? Do you have a favorite? I don't think I have a favorite. Do you care? Or are you just filled with intent? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see the back of the... Well, you can't because Cole's not doing his job. Come on, clear it up, man. You made me laugh. Clear it up. So the, I'm going to show you guys some some really cool things about the value packs. Um, one thing to be careful of, it looks like you can see through the back. So I'd be a little bit careful. That means people can probably search these. I don't think you can get autos. It does not appear that you can from here. Um, so I, the big chase for these is probably still just the big rookie parallels is really all you're chasing. I, I'm sure you can get maybe the red and black uh, checkers out of here. Um, as a, as a case hit, maybe the solid reds and the solid blues are possible as well. But really, I think your your consistent thing you're chasing is going to be the uh, the big rookies and the red, white, and blues. So, but you do get a lot in here in terms of parallels. So let's let's look at these. Fifteen cards total: Micah Parsons, Stefan Diggs, Travion Williams, Christian Kirk, Javon Holland, Nick Bosa, Drew Bledsoe. You get way too much base. But look at this: the rest of this is inserts and parallels. Um, Kendra Miller, rookie. We got a silver, another one that's not Kendra Miller. It's Jake Hayner on the silver rookie. So getting silver rookies is pretty big. Now, this is the other thing about the value packs that's kind of cool. The greens are also only in the value packs from what I have seen. I think, I, I want to say it's only here. Maybe, maybe in the retail box, but I believe maybe it's just retail in here. But these greens, you know, in other premium sets, the greens are all over the retail products, but not in Prism. So those are also kind of cool to get in here. Jay Kaner Silver, uh, Harrison Smith Green, Brock Purdy on the second year green hype. That's a cool looking card. I like that. Yeah. Brock Purdy, even second year stuff for him is really, really valuable right now. Emergent Kyle Pitts. And then our red, white, and blues, we're going to get Amari Cooper. Just uh, look at that. They're just clean. It's a very clean parallel, especially with the design this year. I like the little silver lines on the side. What do you think? Yeah. Pretty slick. Another Browns card. Goodness. We, we don't need Browns, man. Come on. Zadarius Smith. And hopefully a rookie. Bears. Darnell Wright. Goodness, that was a, that was a rough pack. But you do get five parallels and a silver. So six total parallels in there is pretty good. This is going to be a fairly short video, I'd say, since we only have three of these that we're doing. One pack a piece. Ooh, we got a kid reporter. We'll see if that means anything. It might mean something special. There is some, uh, some, some, some people will say that pack? the, uh, huh? Do you mean the entire pack? Just about. It's like half of them are parallels. Dat win. 
Adam Thielen, Marcus Allen, Evan Ingram, Tayshawn Gibson, Juju, Hassan Haskins. There's Evan Hull for our rookie. Another silver. Jets. Not a rookie this time. CJ Mosley. You're probably not going to get a rookie super often. They're so they're so rare. The silver rookies are really valuable. Really good to pull those. All right, so maybe we'll get uh, a rookie green. Nope. Leighton Vanderesh. His name barely fits in the space. And we got a fireworks. These can be really good. They can be rookies or vets. How about a Joe Burrow on the green? That's pretty cool. Get that kid reporter out of there. So I don't, I don't think we're going to get anything super special there. And a Patrick Mahomes on the base fireworks. Another nice one. I like the fireworks in green because it, it, it makes the rest of the card that silver. So it makes the rest of the card pop. Mm. I like that. How about another Joe Burrow? Okay. We take some Joe Burrow cards. I said it again, Cole. What? Vikings, John Randall. I said we take it. I, yeah. I just I can't stop saying that right now. Ooh, Seahawks on the rookie. We'll take a JSN. No, it's not a rookie. We got hosed. So you do not, you're not guaranteed a rookie. That is disappointing, I must say. That's disappointing, Cole. Are you still filled with intent? Nope, it's your, gone. Your intent is bleeding out? Yeah. I'm disappointed. You know what I'm disappointed in is that we let the dog choose these packs, and she did not do a very good job. I mean, no rookie QBs there, Oreo. I mean, what's the deal? She's asleep. All right, we'll try this again. Some different looking stuff there. Hutchinson, Eddie Jackson, Raheem Mostert, George Karloftis, Zach Moss, Devontae Smith, Chase Young. Maybe I should get another one. Should I open another one if this one's not good? Why not? All right, Clayton Toon, a rookie. Chargers again. Do we get a rookie? No. Derwin James. Is that going to be another... I don't know what that is. Prismatic, maybe, on the green this time. Eagles, rookie. Tanner McKee, we're getting the worst rookie quarterbacks possible. It is a color match for the Eagles, at least. We are getting the worst ones possible, though. Oh, is it going to be... We'll take a Bichon. Or we'll get a terrible quarterback again. Desmond Ritter. This is the terrible quarterback rip. Second year, not that good quarterbacks. All right. Nice. We're not doing well here, Cole. Oh, it's a rookie prismatic. JSN. We take those. We said it again. You said it. It's mainly just me, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez. I can't stop saying that, man. Why is that stuck? Come join us for breaks on Saturday, guys, where you hear me say that 50 billion times. Dion, that's a cool one. Okay, I like that in the red, white, and blue. That's a cool one in the red, white, and blue with the, the jersey color. Hunter Renfro, one of my favorites out there in... Oh, it's got a little dent there, unfortunately. Come on, end us on a banger. Titans, okay. I think that's a Levis. I'm pretty positive that's a Levis. There, here we go. Well, we, we did get one good rookie quarterback out of three of these. <laughs> it's out of the out of the four biggest rookie quarterbacks. This is probably my least favorite one, but I don't mind it. Will Levis is good. I mean, they're kind of picky. We're bright. I am. <laughs> we're Bryce Young fans. All right, there's a little white speck on there. I need to get off. We're Bryce Young fans. And Richardson, Stroud, and, and Levis are all good. But this is, this you know, this little stand was there for a reason. It was to hold the Will Levis. So, not bad. Let's go back through the the parallels and such. Give you guys a little look over here on the, the parallels and such. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get the parallels and the such. I don't understand. I mean, well, it's because you're filled with intent. It's confusing. Yeah, I, I can understand how you'd be confused when you're filled with so much content. All right, Toon, McKee, Dion, Derwin, Desmond Ritter, Renfro, JSN, Evan Hall, CJ, Vanderish. The Mahomes and the and the uh, Burrow were nice in that second pack, and the second Burrow. That's a nice little combination to get. No rookie in that one though, on the red, white, and blue. And of course, the Brock Purdy hype, probably the other big card that we got. But I mean, all three of these combined from target cost. If you have a red card, 45 bucks. I mean, if you pulled a blaster, if, if you spent 30 bucks on a blaster, just look at this. A blaster and a half of this, we got three silvers, six greens, nine red, white, and blues. 
As far as parallels go, the value pack is where it's at for the, the uh, bang for your buck on parallels. Two greens and, and three red, white, and blues in each one. And we ended up doing pretty good, so I'm not mad at that. What do you give these, Cole? I kind of like this configuration. I give it a 7.5. Oh, wow. That's a big That's a big score for a, a retail. I think you gave that a bit. That's one of your biggest retail scores you've given. And you gave that on Prism. <laughs> well, I can't agree with you, so I'm going to go with a 7.2. Just to not agree with you. No, I, I think it's really good, but I, I still say, you know, Prism, it just doesn't have as many of the big chases to go after. You know? There's not enough big cards to chase in here. And if... I think, Panini, you need to add some big case hit possibility to this. Mm -hmm. Maybe not Color Wheel or Color Burst or Color Blast or whatever it is. I think it's Color <laughs> color Blast. I don't know. Color Burst. Maybe not that one, but maybe one of the others. Maybe add another case hit to Prism and put it in the retail. A little bit bigger than the, the checkerboards. I think that would be better. But overall, not bad. So thanks for joining us, guys. If you like the videos, make sure you drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel so you can see our next videos. Come back and see us again. Hope you have a great rest of your week and weekend. See you soon.